Hey guys, first day here. So here's the uh, design idea, design concept for a new intersection between Cape Pack Road M21 near Cape Pack, Michigan. So basically, right now, this is what it is now. Right? I'll draw it what it should look like while I'm doing this. So right now it's a stupid little 45 degree angle or something like that. Like that's kind of sharp. Oops. So now if you right now if you want to turn right from this road, you go in a really, really sharp corner. And that's like horrible for trucks. And to be fair, roundabouts aren't the best for trucks either, especially this one, but just trust me on this one. It's going to be better than before. So, basically, if you're turning right on this road or this road, which, that's Cape Pack Road, by the way, you have to do a really sharp corner. And I know in the real one, there's a right turn lane, but we're just going to ignore that for the sake of this video because the roundabout doesn't need it. So, whatever. So if you're turning left off 21 to K-Pack Road, you also have to kind of do a sharp corner, and that's pretty bad for trucks. I know there's an I know Interstate 69 is down the road, but you never know. How much trucks might still use M21 and sometimes. Oh, uh, it's not the best route, but it's the old state highway that isn't under M dot jurisdiction anymore. I know because they emailed me back saying it wasn't. So, because this is basically St. Clair County Road Commission's problem, not MDOT's. So, let me just show you what I'm thinking. So, just get rid of all these stop lines, first of all, because it's going to be a roundabout, so you don't stop, you hit the yield line. So, just get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of those. And the road's going to be closed while we're doing this, so uh, you're not going to really worry about it, right? You do that. And then, how do you make these? So, we're not going to go over here because over on this side, there's a driveway. There's driveways over here. For some reason, they're on the intersection, which is stupid. But, let's just make sure the video is still recording. Yep, it is. So, anyways, basically, what I'd do so, first, get rid of this next one. Not first, next, get rid of this right turn area. Because that's what it is now but since this is going to be a roundabout it needs to be a lot wider so after that let's just put the tank cap up or the marker cap up there because that's a magnet but the mark about here the mark about here and then erase all right so that's where the new corner is going to be a mean up at Actually, could I get away with going two? I could practically. Yeah, I can get away with doing two. Really tight on Cape Pack Road. Get away. That much. So now this intersection is going to be humongous. Honestly, eh, maybe I couldn't. Nah, crap. How I think. I guess i got to add it back. Because the other approach is not... But I want to be symmetrical, so... Anyway, it's still making it bigger. It's not like it's the biggest problem in the world. So, get rid of that. And just get rid of one here. Because I don't think I measured the one point three. This is not centered, by the way. I thought it was, but I guess not. Because I eyeballed it. But So that's what that is now. Of course, that isn't like the intersection at all. So, that... Although that's a little sharp. Bring that back just a little bit. So now the intersection's bigger. Now, that's so your line goes out here. I'm just gonna pretend. So this is where you think you cut it off. But I'd honestly cut it off just a little further, just a little further back. Like nothing crazy. So cut it off there and then just a little more. Alright. Put the line back a little bit. So, we move the lines back on 21, right? So, now it kind of looks like that. We're not finished yet, though. And we also got to move, cut it off here just a little bit there. This is K-Pack, right? Weird. I know. 
and then also here, coming off here, just a little bit there. There you go. So that looks like that. Now, this is where the complicated part goes, because it's not going to be a normal roundabout, as you can tell. It's not even going to be an oval. It's going to be like a peanut shaped, and it's going to be weird. So, <laughs> so what we do, we're going to mark it. So there's our first point. And around this corner is going to be our second point. Alright. And our third point is going to be on the outside edge. I'm going to do it. So where's that at? So the curve's here, so we'll put it back. The curve's here, so it's a little, probably about here, I'd say. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now this, these are our dots, and we need two more to complete this. So this is going to be right after the curve, and right after the curve. So now we're left with that. Trust me on this; it's going to be it's going to get really weird here in a sec. But here's the dot. There's the curve there. We're just going to do about same here, although one thing I should say is that we should probably add more dots to connect so it's like more even, just saying. So there's what that dot was, I think, because I accidentally erased it. So dot, dot, just connect all the way around, there we go. Also, that's okay too. So, right yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, but whatever. So that's what we're starting out with now. We ain't done yet though. Uh, dot, 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 and then connect from here, just all the way down to here, and then <clears throat> again. these two approaches too, just a smidge, just to make it a little better. Oh no, the dots didn't stick. So never mind, we're not going to do it there. It does not look very symmetrical. It's probably because it's not, because this is weird. I don't get it, but trust me on this. So, connect it here, connect it here. Okay, that's a little lopsided. Because this approach is weird. So, smooth it out. Uh, we're going to just make this corner a little, just a little more inwards. Just a little smooth more. So now, Move the dot here. So that's how it should actually be, probably. And then. And also, you want to round this just a smidge more. And it's about that. But just reduce this. That looks about right. So the part you go around is now done. But you still gotta add all these other markings too. Because you don't want like this to be like insane. So I'm just gonna go around the roundabout. So see me because this is gonna be a straight line, I know it. That line kind of meet 
is up here. And then this one is just going to be a straight line. Going down. So, it's going to be about there. And actually, that's what that looks like. So, move that. And this is going to be a yield line. But since, you know, we're actually normal around here, that's too much. Too far apart. So first yield line complete. That's, this is Cape Pack Road going south. Alright. Now we're going to do Cape Pack Road going north. On that approach. So, basically it's, you kind of get the picture. We're not done with the middle part though. Because, yeah, you go around this, but if you're in a big truck, you're going to hit the grass. And you don't want to hit the grass. So, we're just going to like kind of go around the roundabout. I don't know, for most Americans, we'd be like, why is this like this? But maybe not most of them, but some of them are like, I hate roundabout, they suck. Especially this one. I mean, yeah, it's fair, but. <laughs> this, uh, it's just, just to fix the angle. If the angle was like a 90 degree perfect, or not, maybe, maybe even an 80 degree. I wouldn't care that much about it, like, right? Because you don't really need to put roundabouts everywhere. Just in the places that are really dumb. Just in the places that are really busy and have a lot of accidents. So you put a roundabout to make it safer. Or in places that are dumb angles like Cape Back Road in 21. Or if it's a dumb angle and has a slip lane, you could totally turn that into a roundabout. <laughs> and the fact that they just removed the slip lane entirely to make North Road and 136 or whatever it is a roundabout, instead of just using the slip lane as part of the roundabout, which would save so much room, but whatever, I kind of get it. Oh, you don't want people flying down the road, well, guess what, maybe. I don't know if there were a lot of accidents. I'm pretty sure there was a flashing yellow light on the top of the yield sign over there. Maybe not. I don't remember. But I haven't been there in a while, so what do I know? Move this back. Just yeah, I am using Mark Cast as a guide. Don't judge me. It's just how I do it. So. that remove all these so we're almost done actually so we're almost done oh my god that's lopsided hey who cares uh it's gonna be fine because the point is just because this is like kind of sharp i'm just gonna fix that just a little bit I'm just gonna so that's kind of fix it does make the corner a little wider but it is what it is. I don't really care that much. All I want is this to be a roundabout. I want them to make the angle less crappy. That's all. That's the whole point. All right. If the angle wasn't crappy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say put a roundabout in there, unless the traffic started getting bad, which it does kind of sometimes too. The real reason why I want this is because there's there's people. I get to Cape Pack Road. I get to the intersection first. Somebody on 21 stops, and then. I'm, well, I'm trying to go through the intersection. Ah, they just floor it. I'm like, bro. I'm literally going, pay attention. Get off your phone. Oh. I mean, if they're on their phone, this one, they might go in the middle. But, nah, that's their problem. It's not mine. I'm kidding. I made the design. It would be my problem. But, <laughs> good people would be going, oh, no. <laughs> I don't want that. So, get off your phone when you're driving. That's, I mean, that's pretty common sense right there. But, some people don't have it, just saying. <laughs> Shit, okay. Oh, that's weird, though. That's weird, what the? That's a weird intersection. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Um, yeah, because it kind of goes a little... 
That's kind of a bad angle. Nah, make it a little bit more round. So now we can line it up just a little better. See, no, that does nothing. That literally does nothing. Who cares, though? Now, the point is, you just put, like, I guess you can widen it just a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, just enough, because I want to be able to put a raised medium here, like nothing even crazy, just enough. So yeah, I mean, that gives room for a raised medium now. Uh, basically what it looked like. Something similar to that. Uh, maybe not exact, but close enough. Now, one thing I did forget to add was the truck apron for semi-trucks. Because right now, if you have a truck going down here, I mean, this is the scale, but if you have a truck... Oh, Wait, no, that was on the uh, other roundabout I made that was similar, but went the other way. Because if you have a truck coming here, and they want to go up here, like, yeah, you could have a truck kind of like that, um, or you can just have them kind of go just more, a little more straight. I don't know, it's weird, but I'm going to still put the truck apron anyway. So, about... Around this area, it's gonna be a pen cap width, just like the lane, just about a pen cap width, and then oof, pen cap width. And on this tight bit of the corner, be from the magnet to the eraser part, from the magnet to the eraser part, from the magnet to the eraser part. From the magnet to the eraser part. Now, this isn't very scientific. This isn't really measuring anything. But the point is, it's just to make it kind of the scale. And this is just going to be the eraser. Come on. So why not? And that's actually going to help. So, that's. Oh my god, that's horrible. a little weird but as it is what it is that's the truck apron I'm just to mark it as a truck apron I'm just gonna put one on the top on the bottom on the sides and then that's what that is and then we're gonna mark more here and here and then kind of like cut it off just a little bit On the other side, double it up, and that should be the roundabout, just about that. Not quite exact, but in my mind, this is what it looked like. Where would we get the budget to that? I don't know. Uh, the taxes, the road taxes, the gas tax that we already pay, and that's supposed to be going to grading the dirt roads, but I guess they don't do that enough. Uh, I, yeah, I've read the reviews on St. Clair County Road Commission, and they do not want to grade that road, those dirt roads. They, I don't know, there's just, there's people on there complaining about it. Now, to be fair, I did check uh, Lapeer County and St. Clair County, too, and the reviews there are also kind of bad. So, and out of all of them, I guess St. Clair has the best reviews of a 2.4 star review. I think one had a 2.3 and then one had a 
So yeah, pretty bad uh, reviews. Pretty okay design. I'm not gonna say good. I'm not gonna say it's a good design. I'm just saying it's okay. All I'm saying is better than the uh, of a uh, straight nine, not the, the direct intersection of the dumb angle. Because now you're turning right, it's a little smoother because the bigger turn radius, right? Same over here, a little smoother, bigger turn radius. Now, to be fair, to go straight, you have to go like this now, but that's literally with every roundabout. And to turn right off this road is literally the exact same. You just get on the roundabout. You just have to yield to people in the intersection. And that's basically how you do it on a normal intersection. So, yeah, this is basically the same. Uh, the driveways here, uh, some of them would probably be in the roundabout. There'd probably be one like here, cut off by the median. I don't really care for that. And actually, I might want to draw the medians in. Just because, you know. I'll even draw the medians. Not the signs, just the medians. So, about like this. Is like what I would assume would kind of look like. This and that. And then, that. That's not very, that ain't very good of a median. And yeah, I've seen a video of a roundabout being built in Kentucky, and, it, and nobody knew how to drive on it. And they're going backwards and whatnot. I mean, to be fair, they didn't, it was brand new and they didn't have any road markings, but whatever. So that's basically what the race means would look like in the roundabout before like the actual intersection. Honestly, if they built this today. Like, if they built this in one day and it was good quality, uh, I could probably, I could see it working. To be fair, uh, people probably have to get used to it. Especially because it's so weird, but, it's the design. So anyway, uh, hopefully you, hopefully you guys like this video. I don't care if you like the design, but, hopefully you like this video, and if you did like the design, I want you to do me a favor, and I want you to find... St. Clair County Road Commissioner's email. I want you to take a screenshot of this. All right, take a screenshot of this, right? And put like markings on how to use it. And email them that they should build this between Cape Pack Road and M21 because it's not in MDOT's jurisdiction. If it was, they would probably, because they told me it was an interesting idea. They didn't tell me it was a good idea, but I'm I'm convinced that this is better than k Packer Room 21. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the bell. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.